Hello everyone, and I'm back with a pedal modification for today. This one was requested by, uh, let's call him a customer of mine because, um, well, it's not important, but he's a customer. Because he would like me to modify his Boss GE7 equalizer. And the modification that he had in mind is one that's designed to reduce the noise that comes out of this. So um, I've heard it, I've heard it described as a, a noise mod or a hi-fi mod. This is what I'm doing. So I'm going to give you a list of parts that you're going to need if you want to do this mod yourself, and uh, then we'll take the back off it and I'll show you where they need to go. So uh, here we go. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need three low noise operational amplifier chips and these are 8 pin uh, dual inline package chips um, there are a variety of ones you could choose from um, but the article in particular that I was reading recommended these which are OPA 2134 they're supposed to be high quality low noise so that's what I'm gonna go with you could also try NE5532s, and I think somebody even recommended uh, TL074 or one of those um, chips. But the most highly recommended ones were OPA2134 and NE5532, I believe. But those are the ones I'm going with. In addition to that, you're going to need 8-pin dip sockets. Well, you don't necessarily need them. If you're confident in your soldering skills, you could just solder the new chips right in. I prefer to use sockets, because that way if you mess it up, you won't have burned out a fairly expensive chip. So, get some sockets. You're going to need one microfarad capacitors. I like to use these monolithic ones because they're very small, as you can see, and they're non-polarized. It's very important to find non-polarized capacitors um, for these one microfarads. Um, you can get them in um, polyester film, I think, but those are rather large and probably wouldn't fit. So the smaller you can get them, the better. The better. That's why I like to use these One UF monolithics. You're going to need some 0.15 UF film capacitors. Um, also, the equivalent is to say that they are 150 nanofarads. Um, I prefer to use the nanofarad description, but they're the same thing. So 0.15 UF caps. You're going to need 0.33 UF caps. 330 nanofarad. Zero point six eight UF six hundred and eighty nan nanofarad caps. And last but not least, one hundred nanofarad caps. And you can also use um, you can also, while you're in there, replace the indicator LED with a super bright, as I usually do. So all you would need is a three millimeter um, LED of your choice of color. Moving along. Okay, so here's a picture of the guts, and here's what we need to do. These three chips here, um, they probably they might be labeled differently in each uh, GE7, depending on what year yours is or whatever. Uh, these ones just happen to be JRC022Ds or whatever. Uh, we're going to be swapping them out with the um, OPA2134s. So we'll take those out, put the sockets in, and then put the new chips in. And always remember to pay attention to where the uh, pin number one is, like how the chips are oriented. So in this case, they're going to be oriented down towards where the boss symbol is at the bottom. So. Um, after that, uh, right here, this is, this, um, 
electrolytic capacitor is C22. This one here is C21. I know that's really hard to see right there. So C21, C22, and over here right at the corner is C32. Those three electrolytics are going to be swapped out with the 1UF monolithics. And that's why we need to make sure that they're not polarized, so it doesn't matter which way you put them in. Electrolytics are polarized, so it does matter. So in addition to that, <coughs> you need to look for C10, which is this blue one uh, right up here that's folded down. That's also going to be swapped out for a 1UF monolithic right there. C9, which is right here, a little beige one right there, C9. That's going to be a 680 nanofarad, or if you prefer, 0.68 UF. C8 is a 330 NF that we'll be swapping it out for, or if you prefer, 0.33 UF. C7, right next to it, 150 NF, or 0.15 UF, you know how this works now. And finally, oh wait, sorry, C7 is this blue one here, C6 is right next to it, this beige one, and C6 is going to be swapped out for a 100 N. Now, um, from what I read, the only thing that you really need to do to reduce the noise is to swap these three chips. So if you just do that and nothing else, the noise should be reduced quite significantly. Um, all the capacitor changes aren't necessary for lowering the noise, but it's just an additional thing that makes it sound a little better from what I've read. Um, but again, not completely necessary for reducing the noise, but I'm going to do it anyway because uh, I told the guy I would. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go do that and I'll come back when it's finished. Oh, in addition, the indicator light is way up here on this other board holding all the uh, slide pots. So, I'm going to try to take that out and replace it with a super bright indicator. It might be a little difficult because, as you can see, there's glue across the top here. So if I can't get it separated from the glue, I'm just going to have to leave it. So I'm not going to try to, you know, yank on it too hard. If I can't get it, I can't get it. But if I can, I'll replace the indicator. So I'll be back when that's all finished. All right, guys. And this modification is done. As you can see, the three chips are now socketed. And we have the OPA uh, 2134s in there, oriented towards the boss symbol, like I mentioned. The three electrolytics, C21 there, uh, C22 there, <coughs> and C32 over here, are all now monolithics, non-polarized. So those are the 1UFs. And up here, it got a little busy, but uh, there's another 1UF right there. That's C10. Uh, C9 is this red one, which is a 680 NF. The 330 NF, for some reason, was giant, but luckily I had some space there. I could tuck it in, so I just kind of folded it back. Um, so, if you're doing this mod, um, try to make sure that you get really small caps. There's not a whole lot of room to work with. I just got lucky this time. So that's C8, 330 NF. Um, C7 is the 150 NF. That fit okay. And C6 right next to it, the 100 NF. And that's it. So, oh, and I also managed to get some of the glue off that indicator and swapped it out for a bright orange one. So I'm going to reassemble this and I don't think I'm going to do a sound sample this time because it's just a noise reduction. I mean, I probably wouldn't notice anything. But that is the noise reduction or hi-fi mod, whatever you want to call it, 
finished. I'm going to reassemble it and uh, make sure it works and give it back to my customer. So thanks for watching guys. Take it easy.